culture and heritage made a fun-filled mix at the annual Kauteng Diwali Festival and Karusha was there to share the experience. When Diwali is celebrated in South Africa, it's always such a joyous experience that it's easy to forget the long and hard struggle that took place before the festival was finally recognized in 1910. The Festival of Lights is a firm favorite on the cultural calendar of the City of Gold, and I'm here to experience the many attractions of this year's Gauteng Diwali Festival. If you've ever wondered what a mela actually is, this event would answer all your questions with a pop-up market offering goodies and bargains of all descriptions and stall holders doing a brisk trade. The Gauteng branch of the South African Hindu Maha Sabha has been hosting the Gauteng Diwali Festival for years and the event has turned into a massive unifying force in Johannesburg. Let's chat to Gauteng's president, Pauline Naidu. Pauline, welcome back to Mela. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be back here at Mela. What makes the Gauteng Diwali Festival so special? The support of the people. They actually give us the courage and the strength to move on and to actually put this festival together. And I know for you personally that this event holds a special place in your heart. Being a part of the Hindu Mahasabha, where we encompass all Hindu cultures and all languages, what we're trying to promote is unity amongst not just Hinduism, but amongst South Africans. And what better festival to actually promote our culture, our religion, and to get people to understand it. Festival goers made the most of this opportunity to get off the treadmill of our 21st century lifestyle and enjoy the day at a relaxed pace. On the other hand, this has been a very busy time for the organizers, as coordinator Avish Kalicharan explained. Avish, welcome to Mela. How do you feel today? Excited. It's an awesome experience and also the weather's holding up, so it's just great. Tell me about the different vendors and stalls here today. There's a wide variety of stalls. We've got clothing, we've got jewelry, we've got a whole host of things, and even the food as well. There's different types of food. There's North Indian, there's South Indian, there's uh, local Durban food. So it, it's just, it's a culinary delight. It's fun to shop, but that's not the real essence of Diwali. It's a time when people can get together and share the festive mood of the occasion, not to mention their favorite hits from the movies. Entertainment adds to the happy mood, but the spiritual dimension of Diwali remains central. No Diwali celebration or festival will be complete without a prayer. Normally, the prayer takes place in the morning and in the evening. Just as the sun is setting, I've been asked to join in the evening prayer. The invocation of the deity is accompanied by the flame of the lamps to signify the purifying energy of fire and the light that spiritual knowledge brings to the world, which is in perfect harmony with the central theme of Diwali. What is your advice on how people can implement the spiritual significance of Diwali in their everyday lives? It's the inward journey to light the lamp within your own hearts so that you dispel the darkness of ignorance and spread that joy and love and allow us to unite in this country so that we can strengthen our faith together. The sun is setting behind me and as night falls, the crowds are getting thicker, the performances are getting bigger and brighter and of course we are all looking forward to this spectacular laser show. As the sky became darker, the lights appeared even brighter, whether they were glowing in the hand of a fascinated child or focused on the performers on stage. While the festival is very much part of our Eastern heritage, its message is universal and Afro-Indian fusion dance captured the inclusivity of Diwali in an African context. Another attraction of this event is that it offers a platform for local dance schools and troops to whirl and twirl for an appreciative audience while recreating some golden Bollywood moments. Technology has also come up with an environmentally friendly alternative to fireworks and the visual effect is no less spectacular. No matter what your age or background may be, the positive energy of the festival is unmistakable and the urge to bob to the happy beat is completely inescapable. Diwali or the Festival of Light signifies of course the triumph of good over evil and light over darkness. 
I've had the most amazing time at Gauteng Diwali Festival. And I'd like to take this opportunity to wish all Mela viewers a happy Diwali. May the new year be prosperous and filled with light and love.